every single one of our competitors has now won one match. That means that bout difference is going to come into play. We're going to look at how many individual bouts they've won. We're going to sort out all of that, and you will find out who is now at top of the table after this week's Celebrity Challenge. Since, alas, it seems this is the last challenge I'll ever set, I prepared something really special to see us out. The arcade horse racing gym final furlong. Perch on the perverse plastic thingy, my two contestants must race each other to the finishing post on the one mile track by furiously pumping the reins of their hapless nag. Right, well, let's get ready for the off. We've gone for the fantastic integrity again to play this horse racing game. Please welcome from player cards like Brucey's favourite girls, Debbie Flett and Emma Noble. Yeah! Do you have any experience with them, Debbie? Um, well, I've been horse riding, haven't you? Yeah. I was bucked off horses when I was about 14. You were what, I beg your pardon? Bucked off oh, horses. <laughs> right, OK. When I was about 14. Uh -huh. And that's the only experience I've had, so I'm hopefully yeah. nothing like that's going to happen today. Uh -huh. Debbie, have you been to the horse racing or anything like that? Yeah, I've been um, to horse, ride, horse racing in Canada. Yeah. And I've also been to the dogs as well in Wimbledon. <laughs> the Same sort of thing. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> betting. And, uh -huh. and I'm going to the dogs. Yes. No. <laughs> it's just something that happens. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's commercial break time. Remember, in the second half of the show, we are going to have uh, the final of uh, the World Tech 3 Championship, as well as these two semi professional horse riders. We'll see you <laughs> after this break. <laughs> Debbie Flett and Emma Noble about to play Final Four Long, and we're joined by the most serious of Games Master Call commentators, Mr. Kirk Ewan. Kirk, it's the final time we will stand together in this box. How do you feel? Well, I'm not sad about it, because quite frankly, I think it's time that you loosen your Fagin-like grip on me, and I won't have to do any of these nighttime services for you <laughs> anymore. So, yeah. Now, as far as uh, horses go, and these uh, electronic ones in particular, yes. what tips have you got for the girls? Well, I mean, the basic tips here are not, not, not to bolt out too fast. You want to be adopting the right position. It's very difficult to, to show you this. But you I wanna, can see it, though. You want to be getting kind of, yeah. you know, this going. Now, you, did you, I don't know if you caught that, but that's what you want. If you get that and you just keep it tidy all the way through the race, then you've got a chance. What we're doing is we've got a one-mile race. Everyone's first past the post. We're going to go away with our final ever celebrity golden joystick. Best of luck, Debbie. Best of luck, Emma. Off you go. Okay, the horses must all Debbie Flett's in the white one. Emma and Noble they're off. Well, we're not there. Rock on coming up. And we're going to stay with Emma. With uh, Debbie Flett. First of all, you can see Debbie Flett. And ahead of her, you can see Emma Noble. Emma Noble is in the lead. It's sticking away, Kurt. Emma Noble's in the lead. You're absolutely right. about four lengths ahead of her. That's only two lengths in Dominic Diamond Terms. It's about four lengths ahead. She's with a little bit of chance to use the whip. But the energy is still staying good. And she's got a nice little lace lead there, I think. Yes, if you go by the Debbie Flett's one, as you can see that Debbie is now in the lead in the wilds. But she's going too fast, it says. She's going to run out of energy. And in fact, let's go back to Emma. So is Emma, Kurt. Emma's also going too fast. But you can see her fine F1 limbs pumping away there like madness. Absolutely beautiful to see this in action. It's early, girl, but just about halfway through the race. And if we stay with Emma, no one's more. We can see that Debbie Flett, the white ahead. It's three or four to go, though, but Debbie Flett is still in the lead. We're still with Emma's more. They're going to really use the whip that cut. They're going to use the whip as fast as they can. They've got to get those old nags going as fast as they possibly can. And she's on exciting to watch, fantastically exciting to watch. <laughs> now, if we could talk about the race. Now, uh, you, you did all right, actually, there, Emma, but I think you got beaten by a, a, a very short length. I got beaten by a whip. <laughs> yes. He started uh, whipping me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm She's always gonna, doing that. He's so uh -huh. out of control. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, this is great. Usually I have to come up with any win, but this is fantastic. <laughs> well, was, no. Um, <laughs> anyway. Was yeah. it very tiring? Well, I'm quite competitive, you see, uh -huh. and I, I'm, I was actually possessed. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah. Well, I was 
was like, yeah, Debbie, let's have so some fun. And Debbie was like, no. <laughs> The thing is, you, you, you say that you were possessed, Debbie, so was I. At one stage, I was quite rigid. You know? And it was... Uh, I'm glad that we had that effect on you, Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss this show. That's I'm going to miss this show. <laughs> Let's award the final celebrity going to Games Master Joystick 2, Debbie Flett. <laughs> We've still got the final of our Tekken 3 World Championship to come. That's after today's news.